Hi, today we are going to talk about sales process management. Before we get into the details, let me ask you a quick question. Do you have a documented, uh, you know, do you have a documented sales process and a system to manage the process to sell your high value products and services? Think about it. So, do you actually have a documented process um, where you know and, and a system to manage um, you know the, all the processes so that you can sell uh, your high value products and services profitably? If not, then this video is for you. Hi, I am Harish Gotetti. I'm the founder of EasyB Systems. We are a technology consulting firm, and I am on a mission to help small business owners scale their business with technology platforms like Zoho One and Google Cloud. So that's about me, but before we get in, dive in, I want to share a little bit more about me so that you can really understand why you need to pay attention to this particular uh, you know, short video that I'm going to share with you today. So as I said, uh, I'm the founder of EasyB Systems. I spent over 15 years in uh, billion dollar technology companies um, and I started and scaled products and services uh, from zero to really uh, thousands of clients. Um, so right now we are Zoho affiliate and partner um, and I'm also a certified copywriter. So that's about me. So what do I do? I provide digital uh, transformation services for small and medium businesses. Uh, we do Zoho One uh, sales and consulting. We do Zoho training, um, and I also create sales funnels for product companies. So that's what I do. So now that you know a little bit about me um, and uh, why I qualify to actually explain the topic about sales process management, uh, I want you to go. I want to move forward and share with you, um, you know, what is sales process management. So before we jump into sales process management, what is really a sales process and do you really need one? So sales process is nothing but it's a well-defined and proven method to sell your products and services. So what happens is typically even for my uh, organization or my, for my business, when I started, you really don't know what clicks or what method uh, will help you uh, get your first client or first 10 clients, right? Um, so. Uh, you know when you crack the code like when you do your sales process whether it's cold emailing cold calling um, in sales funnel whatever it is um, you know once you crack the code and whatever what questions did you ask on prospecting how did you close the deal so all that matters so once you have you know 10 or 15 clients and a certain method is working um, that proven method uh, should be documented and if you have that that becomes your sales process uh, if you have that well-defined proven method uh, well documented then it becomes your sales process that you can replicate and scale your sales team so that's ideally how you um, get your first hundred clients like get you know get 10 find out the sales process that works and then onboard new sales people and scale your uh, clients right so an organization uh, with a structured sales process uh, will perform 10 times better than any organization without um, a sales process so I mean I I'm like conservative saying 10 times but if you look at the Gartner research and other research on sales processes they say that you get a significant returns uh, I forgot the number but I'll share it in the some sometime later but uh, you get times the return you spend um, on the on spending time on defining your sales process and stuff like that so sales process what they do uh, what it does is it drives consistency across the team and uh, will eliminate the blame game among the team members um, so if you have a consistent uh, you know sales process everyone will follow it so there is no scope for um, you know blame game like hey he didn't uh, he didn't follow up properly or I didn't do this properly or we thought you know something would happen so that blame game will be um, I mean will be uh, eliminated or reduced to a significant extent uh, and also the sales process will drive consistency everyone will say the same uh, will give you the same promise um, so that you don't have disappointed customers later uh, and also sales process will improve the predictable revenue for the business uh, what it really means is oh, you know you have a sales process that works uh, for example your sales process always closes 10% of the leads let's just say so if you bring in uh, 100 leads 
and you can close with your process you can close let's say 10 percent um so that means uh, you definitely know every engineer who follows this i mean every engineer or salesperson who follows that process can close 10 percent of the you know of the of the leads so that is really cool um so it gives you a predictable uh, revenue for the business so you know this quarter how much you're going to make next quarter how, how much you're going to make because you have all that uh, information um so that's really uh, the key um so that is uh, about uh, sales process now let's understand what is sales process management um it's nothing once you have a the biggest you know the you know the heavy lifting is really getting the sales process done and once you have a sales process you need to have a system to enforce the proven sales process that you have defined um, I, I am saying system be cautious uh, system is not software all the time it can be anything uh, so I mean you should have a system to manage the sales process that you have defined so the three main criteria I recommend uh, to use when you pick a system uh, to manage your sales process are um, you know here are the three things that I recommend um, this the system that you will you want to use uh, must have the ability to help you scale your business from where you are to where you want to be let's just say this year you want to get from one client or two clients to uh, uh, you know a hundred clients your system should be able to help you get there so that is number one the system should help you scale your business um, the second thing is must be easy to use otherwise trust me no one will use it so what happens is um, I mean people don't like change so when you introduce a new system and that itself will create a conflict among the team members and when you actually go ahead and um, uh, you know if it is even harder to use even if it's not easy to use uh, forget it so you ought to, whatever you try to implement will never work um, so it should always be easy to use um, and then mul uh, must the, the system must provide multiple ways to increase the probability of a successful sale so you did all the hard work to document the sales process and you are trying to find a system that will uh, you know that to use it and if the system can't increase the probability of you know of a sale then you don't need to invest in it or you don't need to invest your time or money into the system so it should give you a multiple ways to improve the probability of the successful sale so the typical pro i mean if you don't have any system you're calling or you're emailing or doing something all right you have a process and you know you get closing 10 percent with the new system it should increase the probability of a successful sale meaning it should help you get to a 20 percent close or a 15 percent close right uh, closure rate so that that you know those are the three criteria that i really um, you know strongly recommend you think about when you pick a system so next i want to share some common options uh, for the sales process uh, management so one thing is a good old excel so nothing can beat excel if you are a small business if you are like you know you're just getting started um, nothing can beat the good old excel so a lot of you know a lot of businesses start use use excel to stay to store their client data um, and yeah it does its job um so it's not a problem um, so then so the next thing is um, so the next thing is a table so if you're not familiar with a table a table is i mean it's pretty much like excel but it's a it's a cool product that's available out there so i recommend you check out a table um so uh, you know it has some you know basic crm templates and stuff like that it's a cool tool you can you know uh, try it for free the free stuff should get you uh, uh, you know uh, should help you get started because it, it is pretty robust um so a table is another option uh, finally, uh, CRM, uh, Customer Relationship Management Software. If you are really serious about scaling your business and uh, getting taking it to the next level, uh, a CRM is is what you need. Um, so, since I am a Zoho One uh, partner, so I strongly recommend you to use Zoho CRM. Um, so, I, in this video, I'm not going to uh, you know boast about the CRM capabilities, though I really want to. Uh, it is one of the best out there for small businesses, given the uh, you know the the low price it has. And um, so, uh, you know, that is um, that is one thing. So I recommend if you are looking into CRM, um, do uh, consider Zoho CRM. 
So this video is about you know what a sales process management is and how you can get started. Um, so since you want to get started, I have a very exclusive offer for you. So the offer that I have is not just Zoho CRM. I'm gonna give you a free Zoho One implementation for a limited time. So yeah, this is like a very um you know very uh, limited offer because we can't take on more clients uh, right so we have only a certain number of uh, team members who can handle a certain workload so we are giving it a very limited time offer where you get uh, my team gets to work with you and uh, implement uh, 17 different um, applications that uh, that can run your entire business on Zoho One so that's the free offer that we are offering for a very limited time um so because we want to scale our business rapidly um so if you want if you're really interested and i do recommend to give it a shot so the link below is um, where you need to get to and don't worry the link will be in the description as well um so take this offer and uh, get started with zoho one uh, you know it's just you know there is no obligation uh, right so get started and see if this works for your business and if not just you can end the free trial right so so gives you a 30, 30 free trial so if it will be done in you know a couple of days or three days and you can use it and see if that works for you if not just leave it so that is um that is about this video where um, i'm talking about where i spoke about the zoho um you know sorry sales process management so this channel is all about uh helping you grow your business so do subscribe to this channel and help me serve you better thanks for watching this video and we'll talk soon Bye bye